This is Jennifer Hale, and you're listening to the Five-ish Fangirls Podcast. And, um, I should go. The tangents and squeak continue all the way to episode 179 of the Five-ish Fangirls Podcast. And it is the end of an era. The Exiles has closed. Maybe? Big ol' question mark? (laughs) Welcome, everyone, to this week's episode of the Five Fish Bear and Girls Podcast. So, let's join us. Let's start off like we do every week. We'll go to the virtual table and see who's joined us this week. This is Brittany in Bethlehem. This is Holly from Wisconsin. And this is Rachel in Indianapolis, Indiana. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello. I've got some things to say, but first we need to do in the news. So <laughs> somebody has a soapbox open. <laughs> Just a little. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but first news, which we don't have a lot of, so the show may end up be really short. Who knows? <laughs> uh, so uh, first up, some convention news. Indiana Comic Con is actually this week as we're recording this. It's later this week. It starts on Friday. Um, but you know, as conventions are guest announcements always up to the last minute. Um, so they have announced two more Power Ranger alumni will be attending the convention, Steve Cardenas, and uh, I'm going to butcher her last name. (laughs) Unfortunately, I'm sorry, Nakia, uh, Nakia Burris, I think is how it's pronounced. Um, so Steve Cardenas, uh, Obviously, Rocky, the second Red Ranger. He's been at PopCon a couple of times. Um, I don't know if this is Nakia's. This may be her first visit to Indianapolis that I'm aware of, I think. Uh, So she was the third Yellow Ranger. So it's hard to keep track after a while because they keep changing colors and actors convoluted anyway it's power rangers i love it uh so and they are going to be at the convention i think only saturday and sunday so um i won't get to see either of them because i'm only gonna be there friday but that's okay i don't really want steve to steal my sunglasses again so (laughs) (laughs) don't know what i'm talking about go listen to my recap of popcon 20 16. Uh, I think. No. Uh, and then speaking of Indie Pop Con, they just announced a big guest from a big franchise. So, and I am going to butcher her last name as well. I am sorry. My French is very rusty. Uh, so, uh, Palm Clementif. It's probably how it's pronounced. We're going to go with that. So, A.K.A. Mantis from Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 and the upcoming uber blockbuster, I'm sure, Avengers Infinity War. She plays Mantis. So she is coming to Indie PopCon. At the same time, they've been, they started teasing today two more big guest announcements. And once again, I'm pretty sure I know one of them. Not sure about the other. We'll see. (laughs) So, but yeah, so Indie PopCon, they're uh, trying to get as many of the big fan franchises covered as possible. So, you know, now we've got Marvel, we've got someone from Game of Thrones, so we've got YouTubers. Should be a good time. I'm excited for PopCon, so... Which is coming up rather quickly, actually. <laughs> so, before I know it, it'll be June. And I'm going to be like, holy crap, where did the year go? <sighs> so, that's exciting. Um, and then sticking in the Marvel family, not necessarily the MCU yet, uh, <laughs> but the Marvel family, so we got a 
new trailer for Deadpool 2, which looks freaking hilarious. So excited. It's so funny. Which is going to be good, because I'm going to need something utterly hilarious after Infinity War. So <laughs> I'm almost glad that everything shifted. So Deadpool moved, and then Infinity War moved, so I can go see Infinity War, you know, a half a dozen times, and then Deadpool 2 will come out, and I'll have a reason to laugh, because stuff's probably going to happen in Infinity War. It's going to make me cry. So <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But the dead Deadpool looks utterly hilarious. Deadpool, there's, you know, all sorts of not safe for work <laughs> language and references. Deadpool's work in one of the clips in the trailer, which if it was any other superhero, you'd be like, what? But with Deadpool, you're like, eh, whatever. It's Deadpool. He's wearing heels. Whatever. Yeah. So. <laughs> I'm being jealous that he probably walks in it better than I do. Yeah, me too, probably. <laughs> no. Uh, so, that's it for news, really, actually. So, as mentioned last week, um, speaking of Avengers Infinity War, we will be doing a related photo challenge you remember we uh, polled everyone uh, a couple months ago on whether, at the time, we thought Infinity War was coming out in May. So we polled everyone. Would you rather have the photo challenge in April or May? April 1, which is very convenient because now the movie's coming out in April. Uh, it's like people knew or something. Um, uh, that being said, if you support us on Patreon, you've already got to see the list of prompts, but uh, now that April is <laughs> essentially later this week, um, mm -hmm. <laughs> how did that happen? I don't know. For you know, yeah, it, no it'll kid. be April 1st, and we'll all be going, Infinity War comes out this month, and we're all going to go, what? Mm -hmm. A month from tomorrow. Holy crap. Um, so, but yeah, um, once this episode goes up, I will post the prompts on our website and obviously post on the subsequent social medias and we'll link it in the show notes and that sort of thing. So um, because it is a big deal for the MCU, it's not only Infinity War, which is the culmination of a lot of media, plus it's the 10 year anniversary of the MCU as a whole. Um, it, uh, we kind of, uh, the, the, the list, you know, the, the photo challenge is kind of big. Um, you know, obviously it encompasses an entire month, so it's 30 prompts anyway, but still. Um, so the hashtag is going to be 10 years to you. So that's a hashtag we're going to use. Um, and essentially each day is a movie and or TV show that's part of the canon Marvel Cinematic Universe as we know it. Um, and really we're giving you carte blanche to post whatever you want. So um, it can be a favorite line. It can be a favorite fight sequence. It can be a favorite costume. It can be just the movie poster. Whatever you want from each entry. Um, obviously the movies, they're pretty straightforward when you start getting into the TV shows like Age of the Shield, um, or Agent Carter, where there's multiple seasons, just pick whatever is your favorite. You know, you don't, it doesn't have to be necessarily the first season. Um, it could be whatever you want. So, um, really this is just giving everyone a chance to go... It's been 10 years of this. This is the stuff for, you know, this is the thing from this thing that I think is awesome. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty much it. And, um, uh, because they're <laughs> between the movies and the TV shows and the Netflix TV shows that gave us 27 prompts and the month of April's got 30. Um, so the, the last three are even more free for all 
with uh, behind the scenes, whatever, an Easter egg, and Stanley cameo. Obviously, when we get to those, um, those are after Infinity War comes out. No spoilers for Infinity War. <laughs> Uh-huh. For those last three. So that is really the only rule. So even if Stanley's cameo has cameo ever in the history of Stanley cameos, do not post it. Said I'll have to wait for the next Marvel challenge. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I was gonna say is it too late to maybe move those three to like up front just in case don't so no one's tempted? No. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. So. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'll just throwing out yeah. something. I don't know. Yeah, no. I, I think we'll be okay. So. But I saw it was kind of fitting to cap off the entire thing with Stanley cameo. So, because Stan's mm-hmm. the man. I have a cameo in all for in the full photo challenge. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. So that is going to be the photo challenge for next month Mm -hmm. to infinity war as crazy as that is (laughs) (laughs) so that's how random it's gonna be Mm. uh and you still got a few more days to vote in the book club poll so, yes, you do. Go vote for yes. next month's book. Oh. Yep. All right. and don't ask me how soon. I'll try to get the the post up for April when I post April or for May's book when I post April's book. But I've got some decisions to be made. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but I'm, uh, but I'm thinking with the slew of books that are coming out in April, those will probably be like June, July's. Yeah, <laughs> choices. Yeah. So you have time to get yourself copies. <laughs> yeah. Content. Yeah. <laughs> well, it also so it also somewhat depends on how soon the guys decide to. Put add them, them, on the schedule, add them yes. to the schedule as well. So, <laughs> which thanks to Sean, I've had Cool in the Gang stuck in my head all day. Mm-hmm. <laughs> now, yep. that now that I'm getting caught up on all the podcasts I need to listen to, <laughs> I finally listened to this. There could be worse earworms. Well, yes, that's true. That is very true. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go listen to. I guess technically last week's Traveling the Vortex (laughs) episode. Uh Although Sean did keep his word. He did come up with a new feedback song. Yes, he did. Not what I was thinking. Not taking me, Mr. He used to do that all the time. Yeah. If I had any sort of musical talent, like, I would write something and be like, here, use this, and then you don't have to worry about it, but I I can't play an instrument, I can't sing, I don't know how to read music, I'm sorry. Got nothing. I got nothing. I got nothing, so. I can enjoy music. Yes, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. So. Anyway, all right, well, that's housekeeping, so. Moving on, dragging out the soapbox. <laughs> Dusting it off. Dusting it off. <sighs> Haven't really used it in a while. <laughs> it's been waiting. So, alrighty. So, X Files yes. <laughs> season eleven. Where do we want to? See? Start. I don't know. <laughs> you can start wherever you want, Rachel. How, how about with what the F was that finale? <laughs> that was just starting no. at the end. Files. We, it was what? Two? How many episodes were we in? 
the season last we talked about it? Where did we leave off? I don't even remember. Either 203 episodes. I don't remember. Okay, so. Yeah. So, stuff has happened. And then, like, yes. lots of stuff that should have happened didn't happen. It's like a whole bunch happened and then nothing happened at all at the same time. Uh, there was this whole build-up with Cigarette Smoking Man and, you know, the syndicate, not syndicate, whatever, alien invasion, the release of this path, this whole thing that Scully yep. had seen via William, the uh -huh. sort of prophesied or whatever. And, and then we had that computer bank stuff. Yes. And then we get to the finale and it's essentially a race between, well, not even Scully and Mulder because Mulder did most of the hunting Mm -hmm. And Scully just sat around on the phone, it seems like, until, you know, she and Skinner finally took off. Um, and the cigarette smoking man to try and hunt down William. And, like, nothing. Like, he, the cigarette smoking man kept saying, I need William. The boy, you know, is the key to everything. They never explained why. Mm-mm. Like, we know William has these powers, but never explained how they would be useful to the Cigarette Smoking Man and his plans for just essentially destroying most of humanity. And then Scully, you know, this entire season, both of them have been like, we need to find our son, we need to find our son, we need to find our son. And then they finally find him. And he, quote-unquote, dies. We think he dies. And Scully's like, well, he was a lab experiment. We just need to move on. Uh-huh. What? Uh -huh. In the... And Mulder's like, wait a minute, back the truck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. And you know, like... how much, you know, they're telling you one thing. You know, take it with a grain of salt. Who do we, you know... Who do we believe in all this? <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, it stands to reason that we can believe Scully and Mulder. Because they've, they've, we've had no reason for us to doubt them. Right. So, obviously everything that comes out of Smoking Man's mouth needs to be taken with a very large grain of salt. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> If he was Pinocchio, yeah, his nose would be so long the aliens would know exactly where to land. Um, and then everyone else is just like, it's like Skinner, you know, did some things. We had that Skinner-centric episode, like in the middle of the season, which was kind of cool, but at the same time it was really weird. And... Haley Joe Osmond mm -hmm. is not the cute little boy that sees dead people anymore. Um, nope. <laughs> that was weird. That was a really weird episode. But it was good to see something Skinner-centric. But then this whole thing with the chemtrails. But then that didn't go anywhere. It's like, why, why do you keep laying down, like, this conspiracy stuff and then not doing anything with it? Right. Especially knowing that this is probably going to be the last time the show is on the air. Mm -hmm. Your lead has said she doesn't want anything more to do with it. Right. <laughs> so. Which is completely fair. I don't know what is going on with Jillian. She seems to be walking away from, like, everything it seems like so because she uh -huh. she said she wasn't going to return for season two of american gods too so maybe she either don't want to take a break from the whole acting business i don't know i don't know so and as far as i know david duchovny has not said anything one way or the other but you know do we really need him to come back for anything Probably not. I mean, maybe if they wanted to try to continue it with the the two younger agents, Einstein and 
Yeah. <laughs> the wannabe Scully and Mulder who who showed up for a quick cameo in the mm-hmm. season opener and then we never saw them again. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> oh. This I, the the I think the all things considering, I think I guess the quote unquote mythology episodes in these last two se I guess mostly this season. Um have, were appropriately titled My Struggle because Lord has struggled with the show. Yeah. <laughs> uh, just, yeah. And, and, I, and the ending. Yeah. It's like, I, I don't. It's like, you I know, can, we get we get the fake out in the beginning of Cigarette Smoky Man shooting Mulder. And it's like, what the. <laughs> yeah. Time jump. Then we get to the same scene again. We think as Mulder falls in. Yeah. Cigarette Smoky Man's kind of almost patting himself on the back for a job well done. Footsteps come up. There's another Mulder. What the heck? You know. Yeah. Then I finally put two of the together. Oh, great. You just killed William. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Except Mulder he, takes except, care of it. Yeah. Except <laughs> except he did it. And, and, that, and right. that's... And that's the thing is like even you know when Scully comes running up and he's like he he shot him he shot me he killed William and they're both standing there just kind of staring at mm-hmm. the water as cigarette smoking man's body floats away yeah to probably get picked up by someone be dead this time for sure yeah probably not man's a cockroach yeah mm-hmm. he's not I would not put money on him being dead. But it's like, both of them are just like, like, they seem like they should be way more upset that their son is supposedly dead, but at the same time, it's like, it never occurred to them that maybe he's not dead because they've already seen him die once and walk away from the morgue. True. (laughs) So, it never occurred to them that maybe he can walk away from this one too just because you didn't see the body doesn't mm-hmm. mean that he's actually dead this time right. oh and then they never really like flat out said like supposedly when scully and skinner in the car he supposedly tells scully what the cigarette smoking man told him but it's never said out loud to either scully or or Mulder, that, you know, <laughs> that Mulder's not William's biological father, supposedly. Mm-hmm. But, they're, but they're, they're just like, eh, you know, he's dead. Mm-hmm. But that's okay, because Scully's pregnant, and they'll, they'll have another one, and it'll be all hunky-dory. Like, what? Okay. What the F? <laughs> I don't. Mm-hmm. I don't. I don't understand. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <No>. <sighs> it's... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what Mr. to say. Mr. Carter, you got some misleading to do. Yeah. Well, supposedly <laughs> Chris, uh, supposedly Chris Carter has said that William is supposed to be immortal. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Hmm. Which obviously open, you know, leaves things open for them to come back and uh-huh. do something else, I guess. But it's like, I mean, I understand, you know, William said he was tired of running and hiding and being afraid that he's going to, you know, be taken off to be experimented on or, or something. Um, so by faking his own death again, essentially... Uh, that that would uh, give him the freedom, but it's like your parents are right there Mm -hmm. and, you know, they've told you that they love you and they want to help you and be part of your life. Then the guy that wanted to kill you and do all experiments on you, he's dead, Mm -hmm. baby. So you would be free to go to them. And you could be one little happy family with your 
coming baby brother or sister. Yeah. <laughs> and that would have been a nice little wrap it up in a bow. Eep. It's like the, 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 the Scully Mulder clan would live happily ever after. And, you know, that could be the end of it. Mm-hmm. But is that what we got? No. Not at all. No. I just, you know, this this whole this whole season was not handled very well no. at all. <laughs> and for someone who, as I've said before, someone who's not really that emotionally attached to this show, <laughs> I'm mad. <laughs> Seriously, like I'm ticked off at the way this was handled, and it, it's, and I don't think it's so much the the it's this particular show. It's just bad TV. I think it's not it's not necessarily this show. Just because I care so much about it, it's just after seeing shows that I do care about be handled okay. badly. It's just it's just one more like really Yeah. Well I mean in the opening title card they had this is the end. Yeah. Well when you read it it sure doesn't look like this is the end. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like it's the end of the end of what? Like there mm-hmm. there wasn't really any like like race Closure. for the Yeah, well and there wasn't any sort of like race for the clock to you know, maybe stop the pathogen from being released or like, I think we saw the bottle. CSM ha- had it on him, but we, we don't know what happened to it after the, the skirmish, the, with Skinner and the car. And it's like, you know, do we assume that that was in his pocket? And as long as it didn't break open when he fell into the water, that everything's hunky dory. Right. <laughs> or did it now break open and it's leaching into the water supply? Yeah. It's like I, I, I don't, I don't know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> There's so many questions here, and so little answers. Yes. So little mm-hmm. answers that we're probably this, never going to get. This is the standard mo for Chris Carter. <laughs> Remind me not to watch anything else of his. <laughs> yeah. I, I've I've seen I've read a couple articles that yeah the yeah this is kind of his mo and based in a lot and, of people's mouths. <laughs> yeah, well, when he edited it the first time <laughs> before yeah. doing these two reboots, same thing. Got a few answers. Got a couple tie-ups. More yeah. questions. Well, I mean, it's like oh yeah, the movies they'll they'll give you the answer they need. <laughs> couple more answers a few more questions yeah Mm. Yeah. and used to this is like come on for once (laughs) Uh. you know and then a few of the showrunners decided to kind of take the same page out of that book (laughs) it's like no don't (laughs) yeah Yeah, I, I did. I did like the uh, comment though. Uh, uh, some someone's someone's comment on the. I think it was the um, the the After Buzz podcast because <laughs> the um, the tag for the the finale was not the you know I want to believe or the truth is out there like it has been. It was this Latin phrase that is tied to these imageries of Jesus. Um, and so someone that one of them said, well, you know, if, if William is Jesus, you know, cause he can't essentially die. It seems like, um, you know, keeps resur- getting resurrected and, uh, Scully, I guess is the Virgin Mary, you know, cause she's not supposed to be able to get pregnant yet. She is. And then that makes, uh, <laughs> it makes Fox the, uh, uh, Joseph, uh, does it make the lone gunman the three wise men? <laughs> In more ways than one. Yeah, probably. 
Yeah. Can we find, can we find a way to resurrect them? <laughs> yeah. I'll take I'll take those three. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we kind of did for one episode, but it's like, yeah. can, can we get more of that, please? Because uh, mm -hmm. they're entertaining as heck. <laughs> mm -hmm. so. I, I, I don't know what else to, to yeah. say. It's just, it's just <laughs> badly handled. I, mean, I, I, I watched it two times to see if, you know, <laughs> could come up with more to say, but it's just like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A little bit. Yeah. So. I watched it late last night and I was like feel like I should watch it again. That maybe thought it would help, but apparently not so much. No, I don't I think, think it'll help you any. <laughs> I don't think it will. So, because uh, there was part of me, it's like, because at first I was like, I was, you know, thinking, especially the, the scene with, with, with Dana and, and, and Skinner in the car. And he's like, I have to tell you something about William and you're not going to like it. And then after the fact, I'm like, did he actually tell her? Like, I don't remember him actually saying Fox is not William's father. <laughs> or, you know, and he doesn't, or at least he doesn't that we can hear. It's, it's more of just this, we get the shot of Dana's face and kind of just her... <laughs> Reaction. Reaction to this information. So. And then at the end, when she and Fox are there, and, you know, Mulder's freaking out, you know, because he just shot his father, <laughs> which has been a long time coming. Yep. <laughs> so, what? Kind of like Harry Potter. One cannot live while the other survives. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> one of them is going to have to go down. Um. And, you know, Scully just makes this offhanded remark, you know, that, like, William, William was a lab experiment, and, but he, she doesn't really say to, to Mulder outright that, you know, you're not William's father either, so it's like, but it, you would, <laughs> you would think you would react differently or something so I don't know it just it seems very just kind of like they knew the end was coming they're like well we gotta do something so um well let's kill kill doing very big air quotes here kill the cigarette smoking man <laughs> let's kill pretty much everybody uh -huh. so Although we don't know explicitly if Skinner is dead or not. He could have been playing possum. Uh-huh. Uh, underneath the we hope for, for Skinner. Yes. I like Skinner. <laughs> yeah. Not so much hope for everybody else. So. Nope. Uh-uh. Pretty much anyone that came in contact with William is uh, not in one piece. Yeah, <laughs> that was very brutal. <laughs> yeah, it was. Yeah, exploding heads essentially in the yeah. in the yeah. hotel room. So bye bye, Cora, not Cora. Uh, yep. <laughs> sorry, Barbara Hershey, but uh, yeah. there's a little of you over there and a little of you over there. So yeah. no. And what's with the with Scully calling what's his face the conspiracy theorist guy and then him going on the air warning people about this conspiracy about a pathogen but then nothing ever happened with the pathogen so what you just freaked everybody out for no good what was the point Maybe a distraction. To who? I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> I, I'm wondering if there's something that was supposed to be put in there and they got cut out for a time. I don't know. I I don't know. It's I mean, like, it's always good like to see Joel McHale come back, but still. 
you know, something that we should have seen that explained why they did that, you know, yeah. like that they drew the, the sleight of hand for the cons. <laughs> Yeah. I'm wondering if we're just missing something. I don't know. <laughs> I don't. I don't know either. Yeah, that. But you know what I'm getting at. It just seems like absolutely. I feel like there's a yeah, lot of pieces definitely. of the puzzle that we are missing. <laughs> or puzzle pieces. <laughs> yeah. Like, can we get a, like an extended, uncut version of this episode, please? <laughs> yes. <laughs> please tell me there's more. <laughs> Like, what but did, we Fox, need what did that Fox all. make you cut out that we need? Yeah. I mean, I know that's kind of the thing with the X-Files is, like, you never get all of the answers. But in this case, we got, like, no answers. this is going to be the last one ever, come on, let's yeah. <laughs> make good. It's like, give the people what they want. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, a lot of people, what they really wanted was, you know, <laughs> Scully and Mulder together with some sort of happily ever after. And I guess in a way they are getting that, that, you know, that they're going to get a, a second opportunity to, to be parents and actually raise a child together. You know, because that's one of the things that, you know, Scully's like, you know, biggest things the entire season, she, you know, and whenever okay. Fox says, you're William's mother, she's like, no, not really. I carried him, but I didn't raise him, so I'm not really. Okay. She has all this regret. But then, you know, at William's supposed death, she's all like, well, he was a lab experiment. We just need to move on. <laughs> it's like, uh -huh. like What? <laughs> It's like, yes, I know you're you're pregnant. A lot of people, I'm sure, are very happy about that. And she's a bit up there in age to be, you know, having another child. But whatever, it's Hollywood. Uh -huh. It's TV. Yep. Um, uh -huh. But it's like, it's like the fact the fact that she's you know pregnant and gets a second chance. It's like, well, you know, yeah, the first opportunity was messed up, but hey, we got a second chance, so yay! Uh -huh. Let's just move on with that. It's like, what? It's like what you know. What are the and what are these two gonna do? Because you know, at the beginning of the episode, Skinner's boss was telling him he was gonna shut down the X Files. What are they gonna do for jobs? Mm -hmm. You know, is X Files still closed? You know, it was, especially now that you know, because it was, it was Scully who you know posted essentially on the internet for everyone to see. You know this information, and then you know then the. Uh, Joel McHale's character, the conspiracy theory guy, you know, talks it, you know, makes this, you know, TV broadcast about this, you know, this conspiracy about the, the pathogen and uh, shows, you know, video, you know, police surveillance of fox at this motel saying this is our fbi contact so you know point essentially calling <laughs> Mulder out so you know mm -hmm. the head of the fbi is going to see that too and if skinner actually is dead then he's not going to be around to try to sit you know have their back like he has for the last how what 20 years 25 years uh mm -hmm. so it's like they're kind of screwed professionally too. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. So. Because I don't know if conspiracy theory guy who runs a TV show would hire them. I would just think that'd be too much of a liability. Yeah. You think? <laughs> Maybe. Well, let's see. Over the course of however many years, I mean, the body count. Yeah. <laughs> Because of well, all this, I, and and the body yeah. count grew exponentially in the in the finale too. Fox, yeah. Fox is on a shooting spree. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like how many clips did you have? Yeah. He's like, I got I got myself a a, a cool car, and I can drive fast, and I've got I'm loaded down. He's like freaking Deadpool or something. He's like, I'm ready to go. Mm -hmm. 
It's like, this isn't going to work out well for either of them in the grand scheme of things, I don't think. Uh, <laughs> so. uh, or maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Oh, well, and then, like you were mentioning with another show <laughs> that we watched, you cut off one head. Yes. X number, so it makes me wonder what other shadow or who else, cigarette smoking man, if he's actually dead. Yeah, surely he, there's he others. He hasn't groomed in the shadows that we don't know about Exactly. Yet. It's like, just, just, just you know, it, it, the off chance that he's actually dead, that does not mean that that's the, the end of syndicate or whatever no i wouldn't be i wouldn't be lighting any celebratory cigars at this point in yeah time. <laughs> Ooh. yeah yeah uh -huh. i mean i can stand here on my soapbox for <laughs> I don't know how long just going, this is bad TV. This is not the way you do things. <laughs> but at the end of the day, it's not going to change anything. I mean, it... no. and for us x fans, this is kind of powder for the course. <laughs> yeah. I'm so sorry. <laughs> We're used to it. <laughs> In the words of the doctor, I am so, so sorry. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> like eh, maybe this is the reason I didn't take to this show when I was younger I don't know <laughs> it, it, the, the first four or five six seasons weren't bad it's the last half that kind of yeah. <laughs> which probably would have been about the time I would have been old enough to actually care <laughs> mm -hmm. so. I mean, I was kind of hoping for a certain Agent Doggett to make a guest appearance, but yeah, he's, on another, he's on another show playing a different federal agent, so that wouldn't have worked, but... Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Brittany, you giggle, you know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. It's like, it, it, it's, it's, you know, it's funny because the, the episode before this, before the finale. Oh, boy. There were some, there were some people that are like, uh, you know, I don't must, they, they weren't too positive going into the finale. And they're like, well, you know, this could be the finale. And I would have been happy with that. And it's like, just because of some of the, the Mulder and Scully stuff that, that happened between them. But it's like, do you... Do you... Are you watching I mean, the same episode? I was watching that was well, rather gory. Yeah, I was to say, all things considering, I wouldn't want to have a season, let alone series finale, involve people drinking other people. Yeah. And wearing them. Essentially. Yep. <laughs> So you can stay young forever. <laughs> Not an episode you want to watch while eating. Yeah. Your, app your appetite will get killed pretty quickly, I think. Yes. You'd have to have the stomach of, I don't know, a goat. Very, yeah, goat, probably. <laughs> Chupacabra, you name it. Yeah. A dragon, maybe. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I can handle blood and gore to a point. I mean, I watch Game of Thrones and I have no problem with it. Yes, but this one was even kind of... I mean, X-Files has always been one to, to push the envelope as far as... Uh -huh. What people consider tasteful TV, I guess. Uh, yeah, yeah. There's another, mm -hmm, yeah, another episode season flourish comes to mind by the name of Home. Yeah, yeah. subject matter. <laughs> uh, but yeah. And then the rest of the I mean, the rest of the season was just kind of. Eh. It was okay. I mean, there were their moments, but... Yeah. 
I mean, we did get one of the lone gunmen back, kind of. Yeah, <laughs> for mm-hmm. an episode, probably which... one of probably one of the better episodes of this run. <laughs> yes, definitely. I mean, anytime you get the lone gunman involved, it's... yeah, you're you're in for a good, you're in for a treat. Yes. Mm-hmm. But the rest of the, I mean, it's just it's kind of forgettable. I think mm-hmm. back to the, the storylines, even the monster of the week type stuff. It's like, eh. Yeah. I mean, the shapeshifter episode from last season's mini run, that was more memorable than yeah the ones yeah. that we had this year. Yeah. O- honestly, I think one of my favorite episodes of the season, um, besides the return of one of the lone gunmen <laughs> is the the episode with the 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 one guy that they where supposedly he was at the the duo was actually trio and he's, he's oh, oh yes oh yes the yes. one like the mandela effect, the mandela the effect yes. episode yes. Oh, the, i love that was a good one I that really was enjoyed that such one. a good episode it was, was so good. weird and the entire time you're like you know, they they took it even uh, the they took a clip from home <laughs> and inserted yep. him into. It. He's like, wait a minute, that means, <laughs> you know, it's like, mm-hmm. yeah, they they you know, <laughs> computer added him into clips from from uh, uh, older Earlier episodes and added films. him to the the opening title sequence of mm-hmm. of the TV <laughs> series. And the entire time you're like, this guy is absolutely nuts. Like you're every, you know they they just make him look like an absolute crazy person. And then you get to the end of the episode, and they take him away. The men in the white coats take him mm-hmm. away, and then Skinner comes out. And they're like, "Where's the taking Reggie?" Mm-hmm. <laughs> like what the heck? Uh-huh. <laughs> But that was pro- that was one of my favorite episodes of the entire mm-hmm. season. It, it was it was different. I mean, it wasn't there was yeah. not really a monster of the week. There wasn't it wasn't really you know um, a mythology a, a mythology episode. either episode either. It was just it was weird, which is what X Files does best. It's just weird. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So. And yeah, like kind of right up there with Clyde Bruckman's Final Repose, The War of the Corophages. <laughs> oh. But everything else in this season, I'm like, eh. Mm, yep. <laughs> kind of forgettable. So. Yeah, like that one, like, I probably need to rewatch it because I was sick and half asleep, but the one with, like, that restaurant... Oh yeah, like, where yeah. it's like if you would just leave a tip, we'll yeah. leave you alone. Everything would have been fine. <laughs> I had, like the, at, with the beginning, I actually thought it was gonna be like an episode where they didn't talk at all because like they didn't talk like the first like how many minutes? Yeah. I was like, uh, what's going on here? Yeah. That that episode was. Yeah. I don't know. It that. <laughs> That's just one of those things. It's like, like yes, the robot overlords are coming. Just so make sure someone teaches them that you don't tip for bad customer service. <laughs> it's like, I don't care what your programming says. If it's bad customer service, you don't get a tip. That's the way it works. They're all machines anyway. What are they going to do with a tip? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's what it's like. Um, that's a robot. What do you need? What do you need to purchase themselves for? an upgrade of some sort? I don't know. I don't know either. It's like Daleks or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah let, let, let's buy a booster pack so we can actually go up the steps. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Maybe. I don't know. Excuse me. Uh, well, assuming this is the end. 
I guess the 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 franchise as a whole. I know we did kind of did a, you know, looking at the franchise as a whole back before it came back the last time. <laughs> mm-hmm. Before we got these last two seasons, but now that we have two more seasons, what do we think? Um, <laughs> hmm. like, uh, that's a don't get question. me wrong there was some good stuff to the two that were added but I would have just been happy <laughs> with the nine seasons and the two movies <laughs> I mean I don't know <laughs> <laughs> it's like did it really add anything I mean yeah, a little. I mean, I mean, I mean, it 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 did give us, it did show us what happened to the baby, right? But other than that, so. It- made me want to go back and actually watch, like, I, I haven't seen, like, every episode from when it was originally on, but it's making me want to go back and rewatch the original episodes, mm-hmm. I guess. That's a good yeah. thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, seasons one through five Decent six through nine, kind of, kind of bumpy. <laughs> but still, I mean, going back and rewatching them, you know, at the time looking through my eyes, you know, at first, it, but then looking back and was like, oh, these weren't as bad as I thought. So, <laughs> and. Because at first, when Doggy came out of the scene, I was like, yeah, yeah. but now I went back and rewatched a few of the episodes, and he started, and it's like, okay, he wasn't as bad of a character as I thought he was, so with time comes some <laughs> some changes. Yeah. With time comes wisdom. <laughs> yep. Mm-hmm. The angry fangirl that had mel- has mellowed it. <laughs> yeah, that's a uh, understandable. It, it, it's mm-hmm. it's kind of sad though that you know the fact that they've they've added to the overall franchise, but it didn't do it didn't actually add to the no. franchise. It just it, it added gave you more questions. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it gave you more episodes to watch (laughs) true true but that's about it Mm -hmm. which is kind of sad it's like it's it's almost like you could have just left well enough alone (laughs) Mm -hmm. (sighs) no indeed i mean all things considering, do you think this is the end? Or do you think it's just the end for Jillian and David? It's it's hard to say. I mean, it might be the end, the end, or it could be the end for David and Jillian and we go with a new group, which wouldn't be bad, or if Duchovny is still around, have him just kind of be in there to be the kind of the grumpy leave me alone kids mentor (laughs) a la Bobby Singer Mm -hmm. (laughs) and go from there (laughs) I think if they I think if they wanted to continue it the best way to do it be um more just forget the mythology you know forget cigarette smoking man and alien you know the aliens coming and everything and just go to like almost like 
like a law and order type mm-hmm. with your criminal of the week, but monster of the week. Right. So. Because you could find, you could get some really unique storytelling there going with mm-hmm. your, your monster of the week type type stories. Yep. I'm like, there's so many, you know, creatures and what have you in folklore and whatever, mm-hmm. you know, that you could pull from and make stuff up. It's like. Yep. Well, another show on a competing network has been going on for 13, if not 14 seasons. Exactly. Doing almost the exact same thing. Exactly. <laughs> I didn't want, I didn't want to be like, Hey, make it like supernatural. <laughs> I knew what you were getting at. Because <laughs> I thought maybe that would be a bit too heavy handed. Be like, well, you know, there's this other show that's doing this better. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, no, that would that would be a crossover. Yeah, well, hey, you it's know, a crossover with Scooby Doo. Exactly. Yeah, but, I mean, the Winchester Brothers meet Mulder. <laughs> yeah, I would love that actually. Yeah. But the boys couldn't meet Skinner because then they'd be like, what in the heck is Grandpa still doing alive? Yeah. <laughs> what deal with what demon did he make? Oops, sorry, Rachel. <laughs> we haven't gotten that far That's yet. okay. It's 13 years of TV. There, I'm, I can't not avoid spoilers at this point at the rate I'm going. So Yeah, yeah but, but now you know who Grandpa Winchester is. So. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, going to, I'm to. really bad at connecting I never made that connection. <laughs> oh, I, I made that really... connection when that episode, when when the episode he was first introduced, I heard that voice. I'm like, Skinner? What? <laughs> okay. I don't know what's up, but I'm like, I'm really horrible. Like, unless I'm really big mm-hmm. actors. Yeah. I'm horrible. It's like, hey, I know you, but now where do I know you from? <laughs> Like you look familiar. Uh-huh. Where have I seen you before? Yeah, I'm the same. I'm this. I'm the exact same way, Brittany. It's like, especially if it if there's a, a amount of time in uh. in between. It's like, you know, I I I don't know how long time that I saw. The you know Doctor Who episode fires of Pompeii and they announced Peter Capaldi as the Doctor. So I you mm-hmm. know forget people's faces and stuff and people are like, oh yeah, he's been in Doctor Who before. I'm like, really? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, or David Tennant being the Doctor and not realizing that hey, he was in Harry Potter, you dummy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think that happened to me. Like it's like when I watch when I started watching Doctor Who, I'm like. David Tennant, he looks familiar, but I don't know why. And then either someone told me, or I watched Governor File again. I was like, oh, duh. That's, yeah. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you look and sound. Do I know you from somewhere? Like, yes. But yeah. I'm the same way. I'm bad with faces in real life, let alone in like TVs and. TV shows and movies. So. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Although, like, once I get to that point in Supernatural, I'll probably be like, Mitch, how you doing, Mitch? Uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of going back and slowly doing any rewatches. So if I find any episodes, Rachel, that I need to warn you of to skip, I will let you know. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm still in season one, so... Okay, you should be good. I told you that one to skip because it's exactly what it... That title is exactly what it says on the tin. Yeah. <laughs> I'll let they you know before I start Angel season two. Later on in one of the seasons, apologizing for that episode. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Mm-hmm. That is funny. Uh, uh, anything else? Not that I can think of. Okay. Put the soap box away for time being. Yeah. <laughs> Stick it back in this corner. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no. Make you guys feel old that this year is the 25th anniversary of it starting? Yeah. Oh boy. 
That's why I wasn't watching X Files. I was supposed to be watching Power Rangers. That's why. <laughs> I wasn't watching because I was too young. Well, <laughs> my friends would not have let yeah, me watch I, that. I would, I would have been I too. I would have been too young, young for their core demographic anyway. But yeah, I was in junior high and I still watched it. But yeah, no, was, was, that was when it was started. I was used to still be on on Friday nights so I could stay up late. Yeah, I, I was <laughs> not have to worry about nightmares. Yeah, I was ten, so I was slightly under the probably preferred age range. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was way under the Yeah. <laughs> so. Speaking of nightmares, that one episode with that cart the the kid show cart t- characters. Mm-hmm. Those are terrifying. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like what Why sure, they... like there's what? some like um shows on nowadays that I think are terrifying, but those are like, holy cow. Yeah. yeah. I don't know what it is about shows like The X-Files and other shows where they try to take like childhood stuff and make it all creepy and scary. It's like, why do you got to go and do stuff like that? Mm-hmm. It's like, why, why do you have to t- t- take, you know, perfectly harmless children's things and turn them into nightmare fuel? <laughs> like, just let the children have their fun. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm going to go back to my watching of the Mr. Rogers stream on Twitch. Thank you very much. <laughs> there you go. I catch cameos of... <laughs> of certain people. <laughs> certain S.H.I.E.L.D. agents. Yes. <laughs> like... Her name pulled out of the hat. I'm going to make sure that gets brought up. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> She's in there. Her name will get pulled eventually. Mm-hmm. Make sure to bring I that. showed that screen capture to somebody at, that I work with, and they're just like, you know, that can't be. I'm like, oh, yeah. it is. Yeah. Yeah, I showed I wonder how, like, if she, like, looks back, like, oh, my goodness. Hey, everybody's got to start somewhere. This is yeah. true. Every actor's got to start somewhere. So, And that that's really one of her earliest credits so acting credits so you got you got to start somewhere so mm-hmm. I mean, you know what's like how we were talking about like we're trying like, to talk about it, pleasant things mm-hmm. <laughs> like in more pleasant stuff let's talk about some good tv mr rogers no that's a <laughs> that's an episode later no. Yep. <laughs> that better be an episode later. Oh, it will be. <laughs> so. We need we we do need to dial to delve more into a uh, childhood. Uh, yes. yes. Related stuff. So it will happen at some point. So. Alrighty. Well, excuse me. I'm awake. I'm bored. No. <laughs> um kidding uh i'm over it that's what it is (laughs) Mm -hmm. i'm just kind of over it it's like my struggle is that i'm over it and i'm kind of glad that it's it's done so Mm -hmm. for better for worse i'm kind of glad it's done (laughs) yeah well if any of our listeners want to uh mr rogers or whatever uh (laughs) We'll gladly take your feedback. Uh, easiest way to get a hold of us is go to our website, which is the com. There you can send us an email or link to one of our other social medias, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can always contact us that way. There's also the link to the Trial of the Vortex Book Club. As we mentioned earlier, go and vote for next month's book choice um and then you can join in the discussion once you start reading said book choice there's yep. also links to our patreon so you're always grateful for our patreon supporters and hopefully our patreon supporters enjoyed getting a uh, an early sneak peek at the uh, photo challenge for next month so gave, gave you some uh, some extra time to start brainstorming 
your choices before it starts on Sunday. Because <laughs> it's April 1st oh on Sunday. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, A lot of things happening April Fall's. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and then there's also the link to, uh, our Amazon, our Amazon affiliate link. Um, you can click on that and then shop on Amazon and buy whatever you need. We just get a, a small kick by Amazon prime. If you're a prime subscriber. So that is good. That helps support us financially and also the link to our merch on my merch which i ordered a shirt that i'm hoping will be here before (laughs) comic-con it may not be but that's okay um i need it anyway because conventions are coming so uh i will be speaking of conventions i will be at indiana comic-con on friday for um just a part of the day helping out at the Who North America booth. Um, and then that's the only time that I will be at Indiana Comic Con. They are very limited on the number of badges that they were given, even as a vendor uh, slash exhibitor. So we're having to share badges. Um, so, and I am going through some medical things, so they didn't want to... Uh, have me overdo myself, which I'm very grateful for. That's why Keith and Janie are awesome uh, and are like family. Um, but if you do happen to be at Indiana Comic Con during the first three hours or so that the vendor hall is open, come by the Who North America booth because I will be there. Um, and then Hoosier Con is actually this weekend as well. Well, so I guess if anyone is doesn't want to go to Indiana Comic Con or can't afford to go to Indiana Comic Con, but you still want to hang out with some like-minded geeks and that sort of thing, you can go to Hoosier Con, which I've talked about before, and it's completely free. Uh, so if you're looking for something to do this weekend that doesn't cost you anything other than the gas to get there, there you go. Uh, Be a lot quieter, a lot calmer than Indiana Comic Con, I am sure, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. And also, this year at Hoosier Con on Sunday is the Independent Show, um, which is a kind of mini con inside the con um, that uh, I have talked about before and interviewed John at Hoosier Con last year, actually, I think, about independent show but it's a a chance for a group of uh local content creators comic artists that sort of thing to show off their um their work and they do like little demos so you have someone teach you there's a little demo on how to use like a certain type of marker that a lot of comic people use um i know there was a demo i watched last year's guy showed off he makes models and stuff and he showed off like this material that I can't think of the name of that is really good for like making models and uh, molds and stuff like that for things. Um, so that's cool. And that's on Sunday at Hoosier Con. Again, still free. Um, and then I will be at Hoosier Con Saturday and hopefully I'll make it for some of the independent show on Sunday. So I'm not going to overdo it because two cons in one weekend is a lot, especially considering I'm I'm helping who North America set up their booth Thursday. So that's really the, the really busy, uh, strenuous day is, uh, helping them set everything up. And then I don't know if I'm going to go and help them tear down on Sunday or not. I don't know. Depends on whether they need me, I guess. So, but by then the convention will be over, so it doesn't matter to any of our listeners. <laughs> so, uh, so, but that's that. That's where I'll be out and about around Indianapolis this weekend. So, if you see me, say hi. I'll go hi. <laughs> oh, kind of my unofficial kickoff to conventions is these two conventions. It's unfortunate that they overlap 
it's just what it is. You know, it's like the Hoosier Con's pretty much the same time every year, that late March, early April um, time frame. Indiana Comic Con bounces around, depends on when the convention center's available, kind of like the same way PopCon bounces around, because it depends on when the convention center's free, so. Uh. And the fact that it's Easter weekend, too. I know some, some conventions in general, I know some people are, are not happy that there are conventions that occur over Easter, but, you know, it is what it is. Not everyone's a person that celebrates Easter, so, you know, it's not a matter of them. It also happens to be April Fool's Day on Easter, which is weird. Yeah. So. And I almost kind of wish that I was going to be in Indiana Comic Con on Sunday just to kind of see what James and Oliver Phelps get up to on April Fool's Day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, want to, I want to see what friend George <laughs> do on their birthday, which also happens mm -hmm. to be April Fool's Day. So. But, alas, I will not be there, but that's okay. No. Anyway. This is going to be video stories. Oh, yes. Pictures. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. If anyone happens to catch any shenanigans from the Phelps twins on, on, on Sunday, please tag us or share it with us. Yes. We, we want to see. <laughs> Thank you, Bert. Yes. Yes, we do. <laughs> so. All right. Well, that's kind of a short episode, but that's okay. We set our piece. Yep. Oh. Uh -huh. And uh, I'll talk about it after we, after I hit stop here. So, anyway, with that, we shall sign off for this week. This is Brittany in Bethlehem saying good night. This is Holly from Wisconsin saying good evening. And this is Rachel in Annapolis, Indiana. The truth may be out there, but I I don't care. been listening to the five-ish fangirls podcast and in all movies books games and other forms of media mentioned are owned and operated by the respective copyright holders no copyright infringement is intended or implied